This week on Mosquito Paints, we return to the snake neck. Uh, and if you don't know, that means she is an itty bitty neck. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing her though. Uh, I like the plated part of her hair, and you'll see me struggle because color pencils are hard to work with, but this is all in color pencils um, and micron pens. So I love my micron pens. But it was a lot of fun. Um, and here I am with my kneaded eraser, because I, I love that kneaded eraser. Um, drawing with waffles, uh, like, enlightened me to how wonderful it was. A lot of fun. And I was inspired to do coloring pencils, because I've been watching Coloring Bliss, um, which is a lot of fun. She talks about a lot of um, techniques, a lot of good colored pencils. I'm using Crayola, so you know it's great. <laughs> um, but they're fun. They're fun to use, and um, you know, I found them. It's not like I went out and was like, "Oh yeah, 24 pack of Crayola. That's what I need in my life." Um, but they are not good quality, which is why it takes forever to get the. Uh, finished piece, and I sharpened them like 40 dozen times, so that's great. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't have a lot to talk about, but I'm trying really hard to, uh, like, get a lot of voiceovers, because I know I like listening to voiceovers, and I don't know. Apparently I was not prepared to talk about this one this time. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty chill week. Just went back to work on Thursday. And, uh, yeah, uh, not much is happening here at the house. Um, it's pretty chill. Um, you see, this is where I'm like, I'm so done with the skin because my arm hurt because the face was just so big and I wanted to get a specific shade so I had to do a lot of layering so I was like screw that I'm gonna do her hair and then so this is how I get that plated part that I uh, said earlier is I just take all the colors I'm going to add and the rest of her hair and I just burnish uh, them on the side so it looks plated? I don't know how else to describe it. I really like it. It's like all the strands decided to just get it in clumps. Um, it reminds me of like those metal sheets that pharaohs have on the sides of their faces. And um, her whole hair looks like a head garment, like a head, like a hat the Egyptians wore. I don't know what they're called. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, it doesn't look like her hair. And I really like that effect. Like, there's just this solid chunk on top of hair and this plated part on the side. Um, I, I really like it. Uh, sorry for my face poking in. It, uh, this is a lot of intense work. It's Coloring pencils are not easy. Especially whenever you have crappy Crayola. <laughs> um, but I really like her. She She's one of my favorites. Uh, my favorite bust that I've done. Um, I am working on anatomy off screen. So maybe eventually there will be anatomy. Like full body drawings. But for now you'll just gotta look at my getting better faces. I don't know. I spent like two hours while I was at my parents' house last week just working on faces. So I really want to get better at that. I really want to work on that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I think that's getting better. At least the three quarters view looking to the right. Our left, the paper right. I think it's getting better. Um, mainly because I spent two hours working on that specific pose. Um, 
I can now have them all in different facial like expressions and have different like I don't have the same face syndrome. Uh, like the noses look different. They have different mouths. I'm trying really hard to get different expressions and different people while looking at the same view of them, the same half profile view. Uh, this is me trying to add a highlight after I burnished her hair. Uh, that is not smart. Not a good idea. Uh, because color pencil is not supposed to erase for one, and for two, it's like stuck to the page. Um, but there's a little bit of a highlight, you can kind of tell. And then this is me finishing off her skin. Um, I try to make her neck darker than her face to give it kind of a shadow, you know, because there's obviously a shadow on your neck because of light, if light's coming from above. Uh, which I was trying to do with the, like, light, uh, the highlight in her hair, but I think I did the darker part of her neck too much. Uh, it just looks like a different skin tone, but uh, I'm working on it, and I'm gonna blame that these are Crayolas. <laughs> they suck, if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, I really like putting the top lip darker, because if you look... Uh, the bottom lip catches the light and reflects it, so that's really nice. I don't know. I had a lot of fun with her. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this, but uh, I'll catch y'all next week. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and tap that bell to become part of the swarm.